Hey everyone, uh, it's Jay and today I'll be showing you how to configure static routes on Cisco routers. And here we'll be working with this network, very simple, just two routers and two end nodes. So first thing we want to do is enter the, con the command line interface. Okay. Right, so enter comp t and let's enter the interfaces that we're going to configure. So let's go with fa01. Let's enter an IP address here of 172.16.20.1 and the subnet mask. Alright, and enter the no shot command. Okay, so let's enter the other interface. And let's enter an IP address here of 172.16.10.1 and the subnet mask. Alright, and again, the new shut command. Okay, now let's enter the next router's configuration. Basically, the same thing here again. Comp T, and into the fast Ethernet interfaces to configure them. So, here we go with IP address 172.16.20.2 and the submit mask. And again, the new shutdown command. And we're into the fast Ethernet zero zero. Alright, and this will be an IP address of 172.16.30.1 and the subnet mask. Okay, and then the shutdown command. Okay. Alright, now let's go back to this one and we'll start configuring the static routes. Alright, so now to do this, the first thing you want to type in is IP route. So the first thing you type in is the network, the destination network address. So let's say we want to get to this network. So we're going to type in here 172.16.30.0. Alright, and then you want to enter the subnet mask of that network. Alright, now you want to type in the, the next hop address which is going to be this one right here and that next hop address is 172.16.20.2 okay so let's enter this one now let's do the same thing type in route IP route and let's type in the destination address of this one right here and that is 172.16.10.0 and I went under the, uh, the subnet mask of that network address and let's enter the next hub address which is this one right here and that is 172.16.20.1 okay so okay so now we're gonna configure the IP addresses for the end nodes and it's 172.16.10.10 and let's go with the subnet mask alright and 172.16.10.1 okay let's go to the next one same thing here 172.16.30.30 255.0 and 172.16.30.1. Okay, so now what I'm going to try to do is try to try to ping this computer. So let's go to the command prompt and type in ping is now you're able to ping from one computer to the other using static routes and that's how you configure static routes on Cisco networks thank you